I'm Steve Saunders and I've been writing about the telecom industry for over 30 years. I know, right? But I've got to tell you something. This transformation which is being driven by AI, it feels completely different to anything I've seen before. The speed of change is unprecedented and the stakes are the highest they've ever been. AI is fundamentally changing the way we architect our networks. So far, everything in AI has been about the making of AI. Now we're starting to see the consumption of AI, and it's a service provider that sits in the middle. Service providers need to be able to deploy technologies, deploy them quickly in an agile manner, and, and get to, to revenue as quickly as possible. How do you get new value from the same pipes? Well, for carriers, network capacity no longer equals cash. And as AI reshapes everything from enterprise workloads to OSS, carriers are at a crossroads. AI presents them with billion dollar opportunities and competitive risks. We're just at the beginning and there's going to be so much change that comes from the AI revolution as it moves towards the edge. But one thing is for sure, all AI will need networking. It will need high performance, reliable, resilient, agile network. For carriers and service providers, the opportunity lies in connecting the dots between AI's massive potential and the networks that will enable it. The edge is really the network. You know, one of the key things about the edge is that's where operational decisions are made. So how do you solve a problem? You make a decision. You could either make decisions in the cloud, which are more the business decisions. How many factories do I need? How many ships do I do? But really, things that are have low latency that are really need immediate action has to be done at the edge. Is this machine about to fail? Is someone in danger in a worker safety zone? Um, how much inventory do I currently have? These things need to be processed at the edge. Of course, this isn't just about what carriers want. They face a growing list of demands from their own customers with expectations of AI-enhanced security and service quality. We offer everything from Ethernet, IPVPN, DIA Internet Access, MPLS, security firewalls, so the whole package. Customers expect a faster service delivery. They want to be able to consume when they need it, how long they need it, but also define the parameters of the services they want. And at the same time, carriers are faced with the existential question of how to avoid paying to build an AI-capable network, but then seeing its value flow to OTT and hyperscalers. The question for the industry is, what's that edge infrastructure service that we can provide capability that solves problems and fosters innovation? And ultimately what that's going to be is a shift in how we think about um, mobile computing. It's, it's not an easy situation, but I think this is where you're gonna find a lot of um, CSPs uh, being thoughtful. They're gonna be forced to be thoughtful about how they approach all these opportunities, how they approach their modernization, and, and, you know, or their network, as well as how they uh, support, uh, you know, the future of AI. For service providers, the rapid rise of AI brings both excitement and uncertainty. Invest too early and they risk costly missteps. Wait too long and they risk being left behind. We're still at the infancy of, of the growth that we're going to see out of a lot of these AI technologies. And if you look at how AI is going to move over the next few years, usage of AI, and especially usage of AI in, say, say robotics or, or mechanized uh, industrialization of, of facilities, it's going to require not just network connectivity and bandwidth, which the service providers have uh, you know, locked down, they understand, but you know, bringing security and, and bringing technologies to those enterprises uh, as they start to roll out services. So it's really the domain of the service providers. So when do they need to start getting ready for this? They, they really need to start understanding now. We're really going to see a lot more need for very high bandwidth, massive amounts of connectivity, and things that the service providers have been doing forever. From what I've seen, it's clear that the network's role in the AI revolution is foundational. But the window to monetize it? That's already narrowing. The companies that don't do fine are the companies that don't move. They just are frozen in the headlights like a deer. And those are the ones that are going to have trouble. So you're going to see plenty of companies today really moving quickly into the AI world. And you're going to see other companies waiting for a year, two years, three years, and they're going to have a little bit of a competitive disadvantage for a while. 
And then there's maybe companies that aren't going to move at all. And those are the companies that are either going to lose business, lose market share, or at some point down the road, they're going to finally wake up. It'll be a bang, you know, it's like, oh, we have to do this. Carriers don't just need to modernize, they need to move. It's time to monetize or miss out. <laughs>